Hi, the mesh network allows us to connect several access points together to achieve better Wi-Fi coverage. This is the Wi-Fi 6 access point for Netgear. We can have more than one and they, can, they will connect all together and the signal going through the wireless, which means we don't need to use the Ethernet cable to connect this access point to the center. But the access points still need the power, right? So we, we, like this one, it only support PoE, power over Ethernet. We, we cannot use the PoE injector indoors type. The reason is because the, it's harsh environment outdoor. The ring, the dust, the temperature, the surge could damage the equipment. So we need to pick the outdoor type, especially the industry grade PoE injector to power the access point. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the, this outdoor PoE injector to power the Netgear access point. There's three ports from this PoE injector. The, the one on the right is the PO power input. Before we move ahead to make the connection, I also want to say the power source is not included in this PoE injector. The reason we didn't build a power source inside because any power conversion it will create a heat. So when the power source is being separate from the injector, the product can achieve better temperature, working temperature. And the other port, we have two. One is the PoE output. We, we need to connect this port to the Netgear access point by using the Ethernet cable. There's still one port we call data port. For the mesh network, as we just mentioned, we don't need, to, we don't need the wire to send the data. We'll use the wires. So we need this plug to block the port because otherwise it's going to have the water and sneak into the PCB board. All right, first let me just make the connection for the power. For the power. I'm going to connect this power to the access point. Once plug in, you can see the power indicator is on, which means now the injector is getting the power. This is the DC standard PoE power, it's safety. So we can touch with, with the hand, it's not going to damage. For the mesh network, we don't need to wire internet cable to send the data to the access point. There's wireless connection between these different access points. So the data port is useless for us. First thing, I'm going to block the data port by using this plug. Okay, next thing, I'm going to connect the power source to the power input of the PO injector. Once I plug in, you can see the power indicator is on, which means the injector is getting the power. Now I use, I'm going to use this short punch code to connect the PO injector to the Netgear access point. It's going to power the Netgear access point. We need to choose the PoE port, which has the just the power. Now there's no data because we have blocked the data port. Okay, first plug to the one side. Now we move to the RJ45 port of the Netgear access point. Once I plug in, you can see the second indicator is on. That means the access point is getting the power from this PO injector. There are two things which is quite important when you install this outdoor type PO injector. The first thing is the range. When you assemble the grant, you need to use this 27 millimeter range, range to close both sides. If you don't use this range, it cannot achieve IP67 waterproof. That's very critical. Don't trust your force. It's not strong enough to close the gate between the grain and the body. The second thing is the grounding spot. You can see there's grounding spot at the, at the body. You need to ground this spot because the device is being deployed outdoor. 
Either this cable or the Ethernet cable could observe the search from the environment and send to the fuel injector. If you have ground this spot properly, the search will be released to the ground. So it protects not only the fuel injector but also your device. What if the power source is available in the scene? In this case, we will need to use the solar panel power system. This fuel injector can take in the DC 24 voltage solar power solar panel power system and regulate it to the standard PoE output. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to use the solar panel power system to power the outdoor access point for mesh network. See you next time.